Hello, so many beautiful comments on my channel. It always inspires and motivates me. Thank you so much for your supports and feedback. Please subscribe my channel and also share this with your friends. Thank you. Now, in today's session, we will discuss our next topic that is process state transition diagram. It is one of the most important topic in operating system. I have attached a complete OS playlist link in below description box. Let's start the session. The first question is what exactly process? Let's understand with example. Suppose when user click on Google Chrome application, so which is called as program. Google Chrome is the program. But when Google Chrome load into the memory, they required CPU processing power, they required memory, again they required storage, right? So this thing is called as process. So as per the definition, process means program in execution. Clear? So this is a basic concept of process in operating system. So what is process? When user click on particular application, particular website, which is called as program. But when it is loaded into the memory for execution, which is called as process. Now let's understand in detail. The next topic is process state transition diagram. As per your exam point of view, this is one of the most important question. While execution, your process goes to multiple state. It start with the new state and end with the terminated. And between all this process execution have done. So let's understand in detail. The first state in process state transition diagram that is new. In new, your process just created, not loaded into the memory. Let's understand with example. So when you click on Instagram icon, your process has created in background and whatever the necessary details like process ID, process state, program counter, memory size and relevant required files have opened in background and this all details have stored into the PCB that is process control block. So this is your new state. Here your process have created and whatever the required details because every process having the unique process ID which works as a primary key and this all details have stored into the process control block. Now after process has created it goes to ready state. In ready state your process goes to waiting state. They are waiting for CPU processing power. Again they are waiting for operating system for execution. See here in this example, when user click on Instagram app, your process has created an Instagram application waiting for CPU processing power and memory execution for loading purpose. So this is a ready state. Now it is a responsibility of scheduler. Scheduler pick up the process from ready state and after getting CPU processing power and memory, it is loaded into the running state. So this is a work of scheduler. Pick your process from ready state and move to running state. Now, in running state, your process is actually executed by the CPU. See here in this example, when you click on Instagram app, your process has created. After that, they get CPU and memory execution. And in running state, you actually watching the reels, videos, images on Instagram. This is called as running state. Now, from running state, your process goes to in three state. Either it is goes to again ready state or it is goes to terminated state or in waiting state. So, let's understand this. So, what we discuss in new, your process has created. In ready, they are waiting for CPU and memory execution. Now, scheduler move your process ready to running state. Running state, your process is actually executed. You are watching reels, videos, images on Instagram, right? Now, from running state, it again goes to ready state. Why? Suppose a particular interruption done by the operating system. See here in this example, here you are watching the reels, videos on Instagram. But at the same time, user get a phone call, right? Means your process get interrupted here. So, 
when a particular process get interrupted by any operating system work so it goes to running to ready state now when your process goes to running to waiting state see sometimes what happen your process is waiting for different input output events see here you are watching reels and videos or other images on instagram right but due to some low network or due to some internet connection issue your process is not loaded right so at that time your instagram application goes to waiting state means they doesn't get the proper input output events clear this is called as waiting state now the next thing is from running state it goes to terminated terminated means your process is finished for the execution means you closed your instagram application it is released by the operating system and also removed from the memory so this is the last state of process state transition diagram so this is a complete execution complete states of process let's revise once in new your process has created in ready they are waiting for cpu and memory execution in running state they are actually executed again it goes to running to waiting state they are waiting for input output events or they goes to running to terminated state means your process has completed clear so this is the basic concept of process now as per your previous year question paper this is one of the most important topic they asked about explain in detail process state transition with the help of nit diagram again they ask the same question in different way how does process move between different states in an operating system explain it with the help of state transition diagrams so in both question write down the same answer draw the state transition diagram and explain each state by using examples for 6 marks so this is all about thank you please subscribe